Yeah, so I'm asking myself the same question you are asking yourself. What the hell is this? I was walking around outside the dealership, then I saw this car. My God, I could not believe what I'm seeing. Then I went inside and checked it out. It took me quite some time to realize that this is the return of this car. Now, I'm giving you some time before I can tell you to guess what car is this. Just look at the interior. What car is this? Are you looking inside an SUV, inside a barky? Uh, are you looking inside a sports car? What car is this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Photon Tunland G7. I don't know if you are Tunland or Tunland, but whatever it is, it is. Yep, it's a barky, guys. It's a pickup truck. Kibaki, as a luxury SUV. Kibaki. I couldn't believe it when I saw this car. Anyway, I was taking a walk outside the dealership. Then I saw, I thought I saw a Ford Ranger, but then the Ford Ranger looks kind of weird. You know, that F threw me up into a Ford Ranger and I decided to walk inside. And voila, is the car that previously I used to call it Adidas. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, we used to call this car Adidas because look at this badge over there. We used to call it Adidas, but now it's back and it's back in a big way. In this video, Let's talk about it. This is why you should buy a Photon. As much as you buy a Ford, which is American, but built in South Africa, the Photon is a Chinese company, which is owned by a company that owned Biak. So therefore, Photon is a subsidiary of Biak. And then Biak is built in South Africa, in Kapera. And then also, this Photon is going to be built in Kapera as well. So it's Chinese car, Chinese car, but built in South Africa. Ford, American car, built in South Africa. And y'all are buying Ford. So you must, you might as well buy this Chinese packing because this package comes alive with everything every tech the interior is so good it's so beautiful you will think you're in a luxury suv i mean even if even their their workhorse their pickup truck their their base model has got this perfect interior oh and by the way it comes in the following trims there is a workhorse which is the base model with the price start from 120 uh, it's a single cab and then there is a double cab which is called an light which is not much far away from the uh from the base model and then you jump to the to the luxury one which has got all the bells and and, and whistles and whatever and the top trim it's there what do you call the top trim you call it the exalted yeah the exalted this one has got everything is alive with everything it has got uh what do you call your reverse camera the surround view reverse camera it's even got a sunroof your ford and your i'm a rock and your hilux don't have a sunroof <laughs> but the chinese kid photo don't have a sunroof but otherwise what you're looking at here right now is not the top trim is the luxury it looks like this but it doesn't differ that much with the top trim because i was only be able to identify the sunroof and surround view of the camera otherwise everything oh yeah and also the wheels the top trim has got 18 inches alloy and the, uh, this one here the luxury has got uh 17 inches alloy they all have the same engine all of them same engine two liter uh inline four cylinder diesel engine that pumps out uh 220 kilowatts and 190 newton meters of torque mounted on an eight speed uh, automatic gearbox that drives all the wheels yes you get all the wheels uh driven in the top trim let's just walk around and take a look at these two beautiful bikes as you can see this car will deliver everything you get from your other counterpart and this over here now is the workhorse look at it the interior of the workhorse is as beautiful as in the, the interior of the top trim obviously you're not going to get a reverse camera and stuff like that and this one was a manual anyone who's got a construction company cleaning company whatever you want a great uh, workhorse this is the car for you because when you're in the interior you will feel the luxury and if you want to flex with your car like the ford rangers and Alex drivers does buy this one the luxury or the top trim the difference between the top trim and the luxury is not that much you know but at least if you want a, re a surround view reverse camera and a sunroof then you've got to get the top trim now let's talk safety features of the top two trims the exalted and the luxury they all have uh, abs ebd brake assist stability control uh they've got about six airbags
in terms of the features in the luxury you get your uh, uh normal rear view camera you've got your pdc at the back your 17 inches alloy your keyless entry multi-functioning steering wheel high level brake light on and off uh, auto lights you know daytime driving lights that are xenon usb ports uh, back and front bluetooth connectivity climate control cruise control power steering and stuff like that so the difference between this and the what do you call it the exalted is not that much just few things yeah naje things like for example you've got your in the in the top trim you've got your surround view reverse camera uh the entry is keyless uh you've got a sunroof as well and then everything else is basically the same yeah it also have pdc uh, at the back and front so is everything is basically the same Now, what you've been waiting for is the cost of ownership. I know I said it starts from 320 from the base model, you know, the base model, and then it goes up to 585, the top trim. Right now, I'm, we're going to talk about the cost of ownership of the luxury model, the second from the top, which cost 559,000. So we are going to assume, as always, that there's no deposit and there's no trade in. And then also we are going to assume 13 percent of interest rates we're going to assume 35 percent of balloon payment and 72 months to pay so you are going to pay roughly 9429 if you factor the insurance of uh, 1.2 that is done on my profile you end up going to pay 10629 i'm not going to talk about petrol you know i don't talk about petrol because people drive differently so yeah you are spending only 10.6k for the car that delivers everything as delivered by the toyota hilux and the ford ranger at a very very low price so it's up to you you go for the already that are in the market that are known by everyone else or you start something new you learn it from the beginning from the scratch or oh, and by the way this car comes with the following warranties five year unlimited uh kilometers warranty of uh, three years or 50,000 kilometer service plan and five year roadside assistance ford does not have service plan i'm just saying i'm not saying anything but i'm just saying ford i a service plan okay but with tunland it's included otherwise thanks for watching stay tuned subscribe till i see you on the next one peace